go outside. Big time forward. Yeah. To mix up in drama, to go outside. To mix up in drama, to free my mind. Jealous people around me, I need to change my life. I just turn colder every time I try. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know already, my name is Brady Sheen. If you do know, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is highly requested from my previous video or the one before that um, in reference to the NHA exam. Mad people were commenting, asking me to like do a video about like what's on the exam. So that's what I'm doing today. So this video is the NHA exam part two. And yeah, let's get straight to it. So I'm just gonna be telling you guys what's on the exam, at least what was on mine. I think they all differ. So it just really depends on which version you get and also where you take it. I took mine with the National Health Association. It just depends on like where your school actually tells you to take the exam. So it can differ, but this this is like the basics of like what was on my exam. Okay, so when I was studying, mad people had told me to study the order of draw. Um, that's very important, but Honestly, it wasn't even on my exam. So I studied and made a whole entire mnemonic device for the order of draw, and it wasn't even on there. Still study it just in case, but it wasn't on mine. The only thing that was on my exam really was like what the tests are for. So the different color tubes, like what type of test you would do for each color of tube. So like, you know, for the lavender tube that has EDTA, so you would do like a regular CDC, with that color tube and just stuff like that. Another thing that was, that was on my exam that was big was the cardiovascular system. Um, thank God I studied that because they asked me a lot of questions about the heart, the lungs, the circulatory system, like how it goes, the order it goes, um, which arteries do what, which veins do what, all that type of stuff. So make sure you know that for sure. And then I think mine had a few scenarios as well. like. Um, it, it'll be like, oh, imagine you're a phlebotomist and this and this and this and that happens. What would you do? So make sure you go over. They should have explained to you in the beginning of your class what to do if someone has a stroke or what to do if someone has a seizure while you're doing their blood or passes out or just stuff like that. Like what to do when some, something happens when you're doing, drawing blood. Also, the codes. So if someone... Um, passes out what do you have to say on your like um what is it called on your pager if you work in a hospital i think the last thing they taught they put on my exam was identification that's very important so you know when you walk into like the room for the patient the way you identify them how many people have to identify them or how many types of identification do they need just stuff like that i would say study everything but those are like the basics so cardiovascular system scenarios identification and test so which tests are for what like just honestly i should just post my notes because at this point you really need to study everything but that's like the specifics of what was on my exam for everyone who's asking but i would just say study everything just to be sure because you never know which version you're gonna get so yeah second part of this video is gonna be an update as far as like how my phlebotomy job search is going and just the details with that because a lot of you guys have already graduated and are looking for a job i spoke to one person in the comments i think it was cynthia if, cynthia if you're watching this video shout out to you you're mad nice but cynthia she graduated she passed her exam congratulations and um she's looking for a job right now so i don't know if anyone else would tell y'all this i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all i'm gonna keep it real with y'all because no one told me this it is extremely hard to get a phlebotomy job right when you graduate, like right when you get certification. I literally, when I was doing my, when I was about to graduate from my phlebotomy school, I was looking up TikToks and I found this one girl, she's a mobile phlebotomist and she said she got that job right after she graduated. And then my school also told me that they would put me into a job once I'm done with the certification. So I'm thinking, okay, like, all I gotta do is make sure I pass the exam, pass the class, and then boom, I'm I'm gonna work. No, it's not like that. Well, for me and a lot of the people that I've talked to about it, it's been horrible. I've applied, honestly, no lie, I've applied to at least 50 jobs, maybe more. I applied to like five jobs a day, and I got my certification in February, 
it's now May and I literally had my first interview Wednesday and it's May that's March April May June wait March April, that's three months three months so yeah it was it's very difficult and then I'm still waiting for a response back so hopefully I can give you guys an update with that hopefully I get the job because Lord knows that I, I want that job but yeah it's it's difficult because you're literally like a baby it's like you just got out of school you don't have many blood draws you know so it really sucks I would try if you're like in my position, many people have told me to try to apply for a specimen processor or a collection specialist. Honestly, I mean, you could do that, but I I went to a phlebotomy class. I, you know, passed the training and everything and I'm certified. I wanna draw blood. I'm not t trying to be in the lab testing everything. No, I wanna actually interact with patients, draw their blood and send it to the lab. So that's me, but if you're not like that, if you don't mind and you just need a job right now, try doing, um, try applying for a collection specialist or a specimen processor. You can literally just go on Google and type in um, collections, collection specialist jobs hiring near me or specimen processor jobs hiring near me. Yeah, so this is, I've, and I've only gotten what the response, this one response that I just interviewed for and two other responses and the two other responses were saying no we don't want you oh and then also for your resume i think this is going to come up as well when you guys are looking for jobs since we don't have any experience i just said you know as far as for a lot of me i don't have any experience with that specifically but i did pass with this score and just kind of like big up yourself like just kind of make yourself I don't know have confidence in yourself like sell yourself basically so that way they know okay she she or he or they might not have you know they might not have experience right now because they're trying to get experience but at least they you know are confident they, they're sure that they can draw blood they pass with this score and stuff like that so just try to sell yourself on your resume also mention if you're in college I think they like that um and then the last thing I want to talk about is my interview. So I had my interview on Wednesday. It was like the first interview in the medical field for me. I've been working a job since I was 16. I'm now about, I'm now 20. I'm about to be 21 in July. So I've had, a, I've had multiple jobs. I've had like four to five jobs, give or take. So, you know, I'm good at like, like that type of stuff, like retail or food. But this interview was way different. So this interview, um they still ask you the same like why do you want to work here you know same normal questions from like interviews but the difference is that first of all they made you they made me draw blood on a dummy so i had to literally wash my hands put gloves on you know get my little tubes get my tourniquet all that type of stuff so that's one thing they will probably make you do and they also ask you about like just any medical medical field experience so it's kind of the same as other jobs that you apply for, that you interview for, like as far as like the questions, but then you also have to perform. So it's not like it's not like you go to um, a retail job and they make you do a transaction on the cash cash register or they make you fold some clothes like nah. But for the medical part, you definitely have to show that you know how to do it. That's it, guys. I hope I was able to answer you guys' questions. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know like what's on the exam but honestly i wouldn't really stress it i would just study everything study your notes watch the videos i linked two videos in my in my first nh exam video those are very helpful if you just watch those a couple times you'll be you'll be fine you'll you'll pass but yeah just the cardiovascular um the test from each color two um identification and i forgot the last one i said but you can see in the video so just those four things were mainly on my test but just remember that all the tests are different so just tell you everything be confident in yourself like don't overthink it and just go in like all right cool i got this and take your time please take your time don't overthink it they say 90 percent of the time your first answer is the right answer also another trick to to like taking tests if you don't know the answer and you have to guess Choose a letter of the day. I learned this in high school when I was about to take my SAT and ACT. 
choose a letter of the day so say you have your test in front of you and there's 10 questions out of like 100 that you just don't know like you can't make an educated guess you don't know it at all pick a letter of the day before you go take the test so if it's b right you're gonna choose b for those 10 questions that you don't know at all the reason is because like statistically like mathematically i'm not really good at math but like apparently the math majors majors know this so if you choose the same letter you have a higher percentage of getting more questions right out of those 10 versus just like doing a b c d a b c d or some random formation those are like my little test test taking tips but yeah you guys got this so that's on this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure if you're a new viewer or if you aren't subscribed subscribe right now Leave a like, leave a comment, and then turn on your bell so you're notified to my social media. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Girls, too many options. Body 646. The flight too long. She said she can't wait, but the plane's too long. Now it's some new one. Can't have one too, boy. I chewed it some tight. Me have to put it on me some. I'm here alone, she wants. She don't want to bother, man. And every time we talk, she tell me she wants something differently.